Good afternoon, church family and guests that have gathered with us today. I'm very excited because this coming uh, weekend, the 6th and 7th of June, uh, we're going to begin our regathering in person for worship uh, here on the campus at Bethlehem. Uh, it's been almost three months, or really it has been three months since we've been able to do so, and so we are very, very excited. But I also want you to know that we're very uh, mindful of the safety concerns about this, and I do encourage all of you, if you do not feel ready, if you're in an at-risk uh, population, or you just feel uncomfortable, uh, we totally understand, and so does the Lord, if you feel like you need to stay home and just continue to watch online. So please, no pressure. We're going to do what we can to be sure that we provide a safe environment for you. Uh, we're asking people, please do not shake hands uh, with others. Don't hug. We're such a hugging, loving church. We want to do that, but just hold off. Uh, we want everybody to be safe, and we are strongly encourage you, please do wear a face mask. We're not going to require it, uh, but think about those around you. Even if you don't think you need one, it helps put others at ease. So we hope you'll uh, be mindful of that. But I'm also excited about this coming weekend for another reason. I'm going to begin a brand new series on the life of Gideon. And I don't know about you, but many times when the Lord calls me to do things, I don't feel ready for the challenge that is before me. Have you ever felt that way? We're going to be learning from God's Word uh, lessons on discipleship from the life of Gideon that are going to help us face those, those challenges with faith. And we're going to see God do some great things. I want to remind you that uh, in the book of Hebrews, there's, a, there's so much there about faith. Uh, in the book of Hebrews, uh, there's a chapter that's all about faith. It's called Hebrews chapter 11. I'm not going to read it to you. I encourage you to spend some time in that this week. But it's often called the roll call of faith. And in verse 6 of chapter 11, there's this wonderful statement. And it says, And without faith it is impossible to please God. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You go on and read in chapter 11, and it tells you all these great stories and reminds you of these wonderful accounts in the Bible of people that walked with God by faith and saw amazing things happen, not because of their own strength, but because they followed a mighty God. And that's what I want you to experience, and that's what God wants you to experience. But to be honest, we need to grow in our faith. We're going to be learning lessons from Gideon, and I hope you'll join us beginning this weekend, uh, either on Saturday with our service for parents with young children at 5 o'clock. Uh, our early service, which is at a different time than normal, will be at 8.30 in the morning in our second service at 10 o'clock, or join us online. But one of the other things that's stated about Gideon in the book of Hebrews chapter, in, in chapter 11 is, begins in verse 32. And he's wrapping up all these things he's gone into great detail on, and he comes to the end, and he has so much more to share. He doesn't have time. I often feel like that as a pastor. And he says, And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, and were made strong out of weakness, that would be Gideon, became mighty in war, that would be Gideon, and put foreign armies to flight, that would be Gideon. I want to share with you today that, you know, we've been through a real trial. We're still in it as a nation right now. And we as believers need to understand that the Word of God has so much to say to us to help bring us through these times and to help us in these times to grow in our faith. When you look back through uh, biblical history and just history in general, you will see that God often allows trials in order when he's uh, trials when he's getting ready to do a great work for his glory. We've been talking about prayer, praying on the mountain, all these things throughout this time. We need to keep emphasizing prayer. But historically, God works through those trials to do a great work. And we're going to learn a lot about that as we look at the life of Gideon. So I'm just really today kind of doing a promotion of my of our new uh, sermon series. I want you to remember that he started off fearful and weak, and God addressed all the issues in his life. He was being discipled by the Lord, 
and he was going to disciple others to follow God on to great victory. He had an army that started out large, though not large in comparison to the Midianites that were coming against them, and God whittled it down and whittled it down and whittled it down. And maybe today you feel like you don't have a whole lot left to work with. Well, if you've got God, you've got a whole lot more than you think. So I just want to challenge you today. That's what this time is about, all about. Join us this coming weekend as we begin to study the life of Gideon. I think you'll find out you'll be glad that you did. Until next week, God bless you. And next week, we're going to be looking at some things on spiritual warfare that go along with this. And uh, until then, have a great week and God bless you. This has been Pastor George Fox at Bethlehem Baptist Church.